Many assets are fungible, meaning they can be put to multiple uses. This comes from the Latin verb fungi, meaning to perform. Not to be confused with fungi. Fungible assets include things like cash, machines, real estate, and skills. We're going to focus here on fungible technologies. Consider KUKA, the company that builds some of the world's coolest industrial robots. KUKA robots build, among other things, Tesla automobiles. But KUKA's robots can also mix drinks. They're pretty good at mixing up people, too. In fact, KUKA robots are at the heart of the Harry Potter virtual reality ride at Universal Studios called The Forbidden Journey. Eventually, KUKA robots started branching out and finding their own hobbies. So how do managers find new applications and markets for their fungible technologies? Professors Erwin Daniels and Federico Frattini studied this and offer four main steps. Step one is to characterize the technology. What are the functions it can perform? For example, KUKA's robotic arms can move in multiple directions with great precision and speed and can handle extreme weight. Step two is to identify potential applications for these functions. What are other settings where these functions are used? Managers can search patents and trade magazines and visit conventions to explore other settings that use the same core functions. KUKA's managers found that many settings require manipulating objects or people in space. If you have a technology that can lift heavy things, for example, you could search patents for terms related to lifting heavy, and you'd find applications like wind turbine assembly, cranes, and mechanical shovels. Step three is to select from among the identified applications. Which applications are in attractive markets? And of these, in which could the technology outperform current options? Step four is to choose the best entry mode. Does the firm have the resources to develop the application on its own, or should it partner, for example, through a licensing agreement or a joint venture? As Daniels and Frattini note, although companies aren't always aware of it, the technologies they use in their core businesses often have more than one application. Unless managers take steps to figure out the additional applications, they risk leaving money on the table. For more details, check out the article Finding Applications for Technologies Beyond the Core Business by Professors Daniels and Frattini in the Sloan Management Review.